This is step four. We're gonna isolate the methyl orange now. Um, it's ionic, which means that it's normally water soluble. So it's a weird procedure. We're gonna heat this on a, uh, to boiling on a hot plate for 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna turn this up really high here. And then when, it's most, when the dye is mostly dissolved, we're going to add 10 grams of sodium chloride and this will cause it to salt out. So it's called uh, salting out the dye. So then we'll cool the reaction mixture in an ice bath and we'll do vacuum filtration and that's when we'll have the methyl orange. So I'll turn the video off here. Uh, you don't need to see this um, boiling for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, when I'm near the end of that, I will uh, start the video so you can see what it looks like when I add the sodium chloride. So we've been heating this for about 20 minutes now and it's all as much dissolved as we can. And now what I'm going to do is add solid, which is a very strange procedure, add 10 grams of sodium chloride. It's quite a bit in there. And we'll just dump that in there like so. Okay. There's precipitation a little bit. Um, and I turned the heater off. So now we just let that um, cool down. We're supposed to cool this in an ice bath and that's gonna take a very long time because there's about 200 milliliters of aqueous solution in there and we need to cool it in this baby ice bath. So I'll stop the video and I'll come back to you when this is ice chilled for filtration and isolation. See you then. I'm here ready to isolate the methyl orange product. So we've uh, chilled this to an ice cold temperature for quite a while. This is where things get pretty messy. Um, so we want to wet the filter paper with some water here only because the reaction was carried out with aqueous solution. And we'll hook on the side arm here, which applies the vacuum. Okay, get that running at a good rate. So I've got um, this mixture here. So it's a nice orange color as it should be. I'm gonna go ahead and um, We'll use a magnet to hold the stir bar on the bottom of this flask here, the speaker here, so it won't fall in. It's a very thick suspension and it takes a while for it to um, pass through the filter.
this filter uh, funnel is this funnel is filled up about halfway. <laughs> it's a massive amount of material to make in one lab, but. All right, so now we want to rinse the sides here with ice cold sodium, saturated sodium chloride. And um, doesn't work too well, but kind of do our best there. It's so highly colored, you have the impression that there's tons of material left behind, but Really, it's not that much at all. So the magnet's quite nice. It just holds that magnetic stir bar on the bottom of the beaker. show you what the uh, substance looks like right now. So now we're just applying a vacuum for a few minutes to um, make sure that the sodium chloride wash comes on through. It's a bit of a waiting game now. Now, because it's aqueous, the water takes a very long time to um, evaporate. Okay, now we're going to weigh a watch glass here. And uh, we need to record this weight for later to do a subtraction, okay? So make sure you record the watch glass weight. All right, and then now we're gonna scoop all of this methyl orange 
onto the watch glass. And we'll do it at this table to contain the mess all in one small location. smell to it and uh, yeah it's just kind of a thick paste here normally I would pull the filter paper out but it's um, not really large crystals to be able to do that so I just kind of do do it like this and pull this kind of orangish clay type material out and so again we'll just let this uh, evaporate the water in this mixture here evaporate over the course of um, a week or something there's not a rush here this lab won't be done until a while and then I'll weigh the dried product do some analysis with it. So there's a, quite a bit remaining in there. I'm not sure if you can kind of see, but um, at this point, it's kind of like a lost battle. You uh, can try to get as much more out, but it tends to just spread around more and make more of a mess. So you can see how it's uh, fairly moist, like a paint or something there. And we're just gonna go ahead and let this sit and evaporate and become dry over a week or so, and then we'll weigh the product. If I had a better vacuum, I could have dried this a little better, but this is the technology I have for this lab. So um, I'll show you the next part uh, when this is dry.